Hi guys, so here I am making some grilled bananas on the Weber grill. And I have a thermometer here on the top. It's uh, just about 200 degrees when it's over the fire. And all you do is just half the bananas, just cut them right in half. Grill it for about five minutes on one side. And then when you turn them over, Grill them for about a couple minutes to five minutes on the other side. And they'll taste really good. Right now it kind of smells like banana pie almost. It's like a very sweet smell. So now we'll put them here on the fire for about four to five more minutes and we'll take them off and we'll see what they look like okay guys so I have flipped them over it's been about five to six minutes on the other side so in total it's about 12 minutes and you can see here they're they're just bubbling in their juices Tastes so good. You can eat them just like this, with just like a spoon or a fork, or you can make a sweet sauce, like a butter sauce or a, any kind of sweet sauce you want. Put them on there. It's good with ice cream. So we'll take them off the grill here. This is some corn that I just made on the same grill. You can see what that looks like there. And we'll try it out. Okay guys, I just had to try some of this grilled banana. And I just scooped it right out of the banana peel and it tastes really, really good. It's super, super sweet and has loads and loads of flavor. And that corn is also excellent. To make corn on the cob, on the grill, all you have to do is soak it in water for about 30 minutes to 2 hours beforehand. And then drain the water out. And then grill it right on the grill for about 20 to 30 minutes maximum. And turn the corn a quarter turn about every 5 minutes. So you keep turning it so it won't burn. About 20 minutes. The corn's all done. And that's how you make corn on the cob and fried bananas right on the grill. Thank you for watching.